Okay, let's uh, let's brush one in for Lawal. I worked around my Ubuntu 9.10 Wubi problem. Wubi. Wubi problem by installing Kubuntu and then installing Ubuntu Desktop because I prefer the simplicity of GNOME. However, sometimes when I log into GNOME, I get a black screen and nothing works. Then I installed X Ubuntu Dex Desk Ubuntu. Top. Thank you. A reboot. Bam! The dreaded sh semicolon grub. S H. <laughs> Again, 9.10 has made me frustrated. What do you think I can do? Going hmm. back to 9.04 is not an option. Oh. Did it work with 9.04? I'm Almost. just curious because these kind of problems are not normal. Now, immediately, I'd be checking for hardware problems. Could be hardware incompatibility if you're using an old computer. That's possible. Hmm. But what I would want to look for is bad capacitors on that computer, be it possibly on your, on your graphics card, be it possibly on your motherboard. Hmm. It's something that can be a physical defect in a computer after it's had a power surge or something like that. Uh, I'm going to just do a quick search in Google. And not to say that this is what's causing your problem, but it's a, it's a good chance that you've got bad caps on that, on that system. Here's a, an example. You've got capacitors in your computer that look like that. And here's an example of a, a oh. particularly blown out capacitor. When that kind of thing happens, what happens is your computer can't regulate the power going to the CPU, going to the RAM uh, in such a way that it's supposed to. Hmm. So then you get random program crashes. In Windows, usually these kinds of things cause a blue screen of death, as you know it. Um, in Linux, it can cause anomalous problems, possibly like what you're experiencing. Um, but I, that's why I asked right off the bat, did it work with 9.04? That's what I really need to know, because if it did, then I might be wrong. But I would like you to check those things. Mm -hmm. Make sure when you, whenever you take the cover off your computer, ground yourself first and foremost. So while the computer's plugged in, touch a non-painted area of the, uh, the chassis, usually on the back, over the power supply, something like that. Uh, then disconnect the power from it, remove the side wall, and just look. Don't touch anything, just look and see if you see anything like that. And let us know, and hopefully we can go from there, okay?